jam at the cake and found all the butterflies. Time to take the subway again. Mm, I'm bracing myself for Miss Big's wedding. Oh, I'll be a wreck seeing all those people crammed onto the deck of that cruise ship. It's a real fire hazard, you know? Oh, well, just look the other way and have a good time. is here. Marco's flower shop, here I come. Did you ever make it to work, Norbert? Huh? Work? Oh yeah, that's right. I don't need change since this subway only takes tokens. I should put this in the turnstile. going that way. Looks like these turnstiles only accept tokens. I should put this in the turnstile. I don't need change. Phone has been used in a while. Hi, Hal. So the road's blocked off? Yeah, we're working on it. You'll need a resident access permit from Big Cork Tower to get past. Oh, brother. Well, I don't need to go home right now anyway. I need to work on some bouquets for the wedding. Sells a lot of nautical junk. Nothing I need in there. Hey, Flo. Need the Diner Town Daily Scoop? The front page is all about the wedding festivities. No thanks, Bernie. I've heard enough about it from Quinn already. Tony sure is a lucky guy. I hope I marry someone like Miss Big someday. Miss Big's the lucky one. Tony treats her like a princess. And she'll have the world's best pizza for the rest of her life. Hey, are the rumors true about the wedding rings missing and stuff? Well, it does seem like someone's trying to stop the wedding. That would make a great news story. I'd sell tons of papers with a mystery like that. Maybe Tony's best man, Hal, is trying to ruin the wedding. You know, the construction worker down the street. He thinks Miss Big is a bad match for Tony. 
Yeah, but I think he'd stick by his best buddy, no matter what. I don't have time to read the Dinertown Daily Scoop today. Marco, Quinn told me about the flower disaster. Oh, it was miserable. It took me all day yesterday to make those bouquets. Then I come in this morning and find them all totally fried. Someone had turned up the heat to a hundred degrees. Looks like they scattered your flowers all over the shop, too. I'm almost done picking them all up, but I can't find the red roses and purple tulips. You need a break. I'll pick up the rest of the roses and tulips. I can help with the bouquets, too. Looks like we're still missing a few flowers. We're still missing a few flowers. Great! That's all the tulips. See if you can find the rest of the roses. I love balloons, but I should probably keep my hands off. Marco sure keeps his flowers nice and organized. flowers. It, those flowers smell so good. Marco sure keeps his flowers nice and organized. Do you have any wedding cards left? Nope. Everybody snatched them up this week. Tony and Miss Big will be getting lots of copies of the same wedding cards. I'm off to the cruise ship, folks. My little girl's getting married. She and Tony are a good match. His pizza rocks. I didn't like him at first, but he's a good guy. If he makes Victoria happy, then I'm happy. See you there! Is it me, or did his pinstripe suit look a little ridiculous? It did look awfully tight. I guess Mr. Big's gotten bigger. I need a resident access permit. The permits department is on the 13th floor, but you will need a key card for the elevator. Okay. Uh, can I have a key card? I guess I can give you one, if you help me out first. I need five more people to sign this birthday card for Mr. Big. And as you can see, I'm way too busy to leave my desk. 
Just go through those glass doors. They're the only people working back there today. Uh, okay, five people. Got it. Nice to see that Big Corp recycles their paper. I should go ahead and hand them the card to sign. There's nothing there to use this on. Could you sign this birthday card for Mr. Big? Huh? Could you speak up there? Whose card is it? It's for Miss Big. Shouldn't it be a wedding card instead of a birthday card? Uh, no matter. I'll sign it anyway. It. Who? Mr. Big. You know, the guy in charge of this place. Oh, yeah, the guy in the pinstripe suit. <laughs> All right, then. I always feel kind of bad for plants that live in office buildings. I'm surprised Mr. Big didn't mark his birthday on all the employees' calendars. Hi, would you mind signing this birthday card? I'm really busy, but I'll make the time. Hi, do you have time to sign Mr. Big's birthday card? I guess. How does happy birthday bring back free pizza Friday sound? Hi, if you're not too busy, could you please sign Mr. Big's birthday card? Sure. Doesn't Tina normally do this kind of thing? One of my first jobs was filing papers in a cabinet just like that. I don't miss those days. Okay, everyone signed it. Cool. Mr. Big insists that every employee signs his birthday card. Here's the key card. Ah, I need a seven. Huh? Don't tell me you're playing solitaire. What? No, uh, I'm trying to, uh, balance this budget. I need to use the key card on the elevator. Welcome to the permits office. We hope you find our new automated system convenient and easy to use. Oh, uh, hello. I need a permit to get past the construction on Pancake Avenue. You need a resident access permit for Pancake Avenue, is that correct? Uh, yes. To obtain a permit, you must prove you're a resident by answering questions about your neighborhood. Your final results will be shown at the end of the survey. Let's begin. Answer submitted. Next question. Answer submitted. Next question.
Answer submitted. Next question. Answer sub. Answer submitted. Answer submitted. That concludes the survey. Please wait. Sorry, you have not answered all questions correctly. I'm not convinced that you are a resident of... Let me know when you're ready to take the survey again. The... I'm not about to get lost in cubicle land again. The permit office is right here. I need to use my key card if you want to go back downstairs. I've always liked that seahorse fountain. You sure you don't want a newspaper or magazine or something? Not today, but thanks. Have you been on the cruise ship already? Yeah, I'm a VIP guest, so I was at the pre-wedding party. The ship looks amazing. Quinn's outdone herself. Did you see Quinn? How's she doing? Eh, she looked a little nervous, but not as nervous as Miss Big. Pre-wedding jitters, I guess. By the way, did you hear? I just landed a regular part in the daytime drama Hospital Blues. I'll be the handsome young doctor, of course. Ooh, can't wait to see it. That's where the wedding will be, but I don't want to board the ship until I've taken care of the flowers, rings, and butterflies. I need to use the key card on the elevator. Hi, it's me again. I'd like to try that survey again, please. Okay, here we go. Answer submitted. Next question. Answer submitted. Next question. Answer submit. Answer submitted. Next question. Answer submitted. Next question. Answer submitted. Next question. That concludes the survey. Please. Congratulations, you've answered all the questions correctly. Here is your permit. You must now get it signed at the signature office located on the 50th floor. Hello, you look like you're on your way to get a permit signed. How did you know? I always see poor souls like you trying to figure out how to get to floor 50. You're gonna need a blue key card to go up that high on the elevator. Oh, great. You can use mine, but I could use a hand first. I'm setting up for a board meeting and I can't find enough coffee mugs. Nobody ever brings them back to the kitchen. I'm gonna wash out some here, but if you could find 10 more. People usually leave them sitting around in their cubicles. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Oh. 
I need to be closer to pick up that. Mmm, those look good, but I'd better not. Nice. I bet that really mo- Here you go. Ten dirty mugs. Just in time. The meeting's about to start. Here's that key card. Good luck. That's right, sir. Your kid needs a permit to sell lemonade on Big Avenue. Uh, excuse me. Can you sign this permit, please? No, sir. The one you got last week already expired. You'll need to bring it in so I can sign it again. Uh, please hold, sir. I have another call coming in. Oh, hey, Bob. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Hey, how's the wife and kids? Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I need this permit signed. Uh, good one. Oh, yeah, it's busy. I signed five permits already today. Can you sign mine, please? Oh, hey, Bob, gotta run. Got another call here. Yeah, hello. Yep, this is Colin. 
Uh, excuse me, can you sign this permit, please? No, sir, the one you got last week already expired. Uh, please hold, sir, I have another... <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry to... <laughs> can you sign... Oh, hey, Bob, gotta run... Ooh, an orange pen. Uh, excuse me. No, sir. Uh, uh, can you sign... Oh, hey! There's nothing there to use this on. Ah, uh, of course! I'll give him a call! Hmm, let me find my phone again. Oh, hey, let me call you back, Ed. I got another call coming in. Hello, Big Corp Signatures Office, Colin speaking. Hi, I'm standing in front of your desk. Could you sign my permit, please? Oh, certainly. Go ahead and put it on my desk. Okay, got it. Uh-oh. Ma'am, you still there? Uh, yes. This permit must be signed in orange ink, and I can't find my orange pen. I see. Oh, you're in luck. I just found it right here in my desk. There you go. Of course, you'll still need it stamped by Mr. Big's secretary. You'll find her in the cubicle area on this floor. Then you'll be all set. Wonderful. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Uh, hey, Ed. I'm back. Uh, what were you saying before? I should get going. Okay. Time to head into cubicle land one more time to find Mr. Big's secretary. Looks like a scrap of paper. Hi, can you stamp this permit for me, please? I'd be happy to, but I have to stamp papers in the order in which I receive them. And Mr. Big just gave me a memo to stamp about canceling free pizza Fridays. But someone grabbed it, ripped it up, and threw the scraps all over the place. I'd collect the pieces myself, but I need to stay at my desk in case someone else needs a document stamped. But you couldn't stamp their document either? My twin sister Tina said you were good at collecting things. Okay, one memo coming right up. It can't be all taped up though, so please make a copy after you put the pieces together. Okay, one copy of a ripped up memo coming right up. I can't quite...
right, Bernie, hand them over. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. I know you have the wedding rings. Me? Why would I? Because you're still in love with Miss Big. You've done everything you can to stop this wedding, and I've spent all day cleaning up the messes you've made. That's baloney. I'm insulted, Flo. You know I'd never steal a penny. Uh, thanks for the delicious lunch, Cookie. What the? I knew it! No! I swear! I don't know how those got into my pocket. Look, we'll forgive you. Just, just admit you did it. We better lock these babies up so nobody else can get at them. Grandma, no! What do you mean you don't know the combination? I haven't used that safe in years. Didn't you write it down someplace? Yeah, I have it written down somewhere at home. Hey, where did Bernie go? Who knows? I better head home and find that safe code. home and figure out that safe code. I should put this in the turnstile. I should put this... Sweet home. Now let's see if we can find where I wrote down that safe combination. Mmm, zop. I have some great cookbooks, but I know I didn't write the code inside a book. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I put the paper in that little drawer, but the drawer's locked. the right paper, but I must have written the code with invisible ink. I need to use my invisible ink revealer pen. Where did I put that thing? Our coat closet is looking pretty neat and organized today. Nope, no coat in our shoe basket. One of these days, I'm gonna master that cube puzzle. That's a nice painting of Bistro Bay. No code there, though. Mm. I can't think of it. There's my invisible ink revealer pen. Now let's see if this thing still works. Let's rub it around on the paper. That revealer pen is so cool. I sure was careful about keeping that code secret. Now I'll have to figure out all these clues. I'm sure the answers to all the clues are right here in this room. I just have to look around some more. I 
love taking naps on that sofa. wants cable TV, but we get pretty good reception from those rabbit ears. I don't have time to vacuum right now. sale last summer. What a great... I always take good care of our plants. cable team. He doesn't do something drastic now that we all know he stole the rings. You get the code? Everybody's going to get ready for the wedding already. I got it. Hurry, dear. There's not much time. Let's see if we can open this thing. No, nope. 
stopping me now. Time to head to the cruise ship. ship and deliver the butterflies and rings. ship after everything you've done. Flo, I did not steal those rings, and I can prove it. That suit I was wearing at the diner, it felt awfully big, so I checked the tag. It was an extra large. It wasn't my suit. I checked with the laundry truck, and sure enough, it was a mix-up. Mr. Big got my suit, and I got his suit. So you see, I had no idea those rings were in the pocket. You're saying that Mr. Big took the rings? He's trying to ruin his own daughter's wedding? I wouldn't put it past him. But it's weird that he'd drop his suit off with the ring still in the pocket. Yeah, something still isn't adding up. Well, I'm gonna go return his suit and get mine back. Okay, but don't say anything about the rings. We can't let Mr. Big know that we suspect him. Bernie, I'm so sorry that I accused you. Will you ever forgive me? Maybe. If I had a week's worth of free BLT sandwiches at the diner, chances are good that we could still be friends. You've got it. I'll even throw in some free onion rings. Okay, time to deliver these rings and butterflies. We'll just pretend like nothing ever happened. Here we go. Special delivery. Perfect timing, Flo. I'll go give the rings to Tony. The rings? What? Let me see those. This can't be happening. How, how did you... I mean... Is something wrong? I can't go through with this. I meant to get rid of those rings. I hid them in my dad's suit pocket but forgot to... What are you talking about? I don't think Tony wants to marry me. He's been acting so suspiciously, working late every night. So you're the one who tried to ruin the wedding? I didn't know what else to do. I'm sorry. Vicky, come back, I can explain. She's not coming back, unless you can prove you love her. Well. I was saving something special for the reception, but we need it pronto.
must be the biggest pepperoni pizza on the planet! It's all for you, my sweet. How could I be so foolish? All this time he was sneaking around, and it was all to surprise me. Marry me, Vicky. I'm on my way. Get those rings ready. I'll bring the butterflies. Whoa! No! Victoria! Vicky! Don't let go! Quinn, where's that leftover ball of pizza dough? That'll make the perfect landing pad. But it's enormous! We'll never be able to move it!
On the count of three, you can do it! One, two, three! Ah! Gotcha! You still want to marry me after all this? Of course I do! You may be crazy, but I'm still crazy for you! Get ready for the biggest wedding in Dinertown history! Flo, I owe you one. Or two or three.